We're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bikers on a quest to race the best and most challenging mountain bike races we can find. This means that for a large part of the year, we take this whole bike racing thing pretty seriously, which is exactly why we always jump on the opportunity to do races that are truly just for fun, as it's the best possible reminder of why we do this. And what better way to remember how much we love riding our bikes than racing them for 24 hours straight. It's starting to feel like all I've ever done for my entire life is ride around this course over and over and over. Sorry, did I say 24? I meant 25. In keeping with the general tradition of masochism in 24 hour racing, this race, 25 hours of Frog Hollow, falls on daylight savings time weekend, which means you get 25 hours straight of conversations like this. 5.30, which is 6.30 frog time. No, no, it's 4.30 frog time. <laughs> Since Mackie and my favorite hobbies as a couple are racing bikes and arguing about time zones, this is the perfect event for us. That can't be right though, because you literally just said 6.30. We'll be joined this weekend by the ever fabulous Lo and Joe, and things are going to get wild or at least weird. We'll be wearing stupid outfits, eating strange meals. Well, we forgot jelly, so Doritos. <laughs> and battling against formidable foes, which is to say teenagers. Who will prevail, age and wisdom, or uh, so how- And approximately 150 pounds combined less than all of us. We are driving up tonight to Durango, see Lo and Joe, and then Four of us are gonna to drive to St. George, Utah tomorrow to race 25 hours Frog Hollow. Our goal with this race is to work on the things that did not go so well when we did 24 hours of the Enchanted Forest because we are doing another 24 hour race early next year that we would like to do well in. We're doing it as a team with Lo and Joe. So this is our sort of our testament. We're gonna try out probably a different order for the nighttime laps. I'm gonna to try to do a better job about eating during the night so they don't end up feeling super sick like I did last time. Also, we got better lights. We have spent the morning getting all the food together. Mackie made two loaves of bread. I made banana bread, roasted some potatoes. So we should be doing well on carbs. Lo has done most of the cooking. We've made a bolognese, oh, and this beautiful. is a recipe from my really good friend who lives in Italy, and it's his mom's recipe. These are huge. Oh, also, your beautiful. puppy is huge. You said that's a baby. Everything is proportional. <laughs> <laughs> the sploot. You can't get over the sploot. <laughs> so, we've got chicken noodle soup. We have noodles. We have the bougie pancakes that we had at our last race. Yes. We're making pesto chicken pasta with green beans and potatoes. Yeah, it's been a lot of that. Pumpkin Spice Cheerios. It's a limited edition. Limited edition. Basic girl. It tastes like Ugg boots and cashmere sweaters. <laughs> I don't know. Something extra. My initial reaction was I don't like it, but as it sunk in, yeah. I liked it more. Probably what shame tastes like. <laughs> Swirl it around first. My first reaction is Apple Jacks. Oh. Huh. What? There's no apple <clears throat> flavor. It tastes a lot like apple pie. What? <laughs> the costumes. We have Whoa, one. Oh, sexy. And then we're going to have a magical dragon. Oh, very nice. Is that a skunk? <laughs> Could be a skunk. I have a surprise for everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my word. <gasps> Oh my goodness. There are four different colors. A little masculine, but... No, I'm not, I, I'm not worried about yeah, that. I'm masculine. going for masculine here. <laughs> oh, oh lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why, wait, did it just split? Yes. Yeah, Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. There we go. Oh, looking good. Looking so good. These, oh yeah, these things bust okay. open. It's already open. Ah. Ah. Yeah, it works. Excellent. I can't promise you that I'm going to do my first stop <laughs> in it because I feel like the temperature may be a bit different than... I will like, ride it as a night at night yeah. for sure. I don't yeah. know how to do it in the middle of 
the day. <laughs> you're gonna freak people out in here. <laughs> <laughs> you're the cosmic. Good. Yeah, you're Help gonna be all radar. stealth at night. They'll be like, "What is that? A shooting star? <laughs> oh, that's Joe." All right, guys, before I start this race in this ridiculous onesie, I want to take a quick second to say thank you to the sponsor of this video, Shox Headphones. If you've been following our channel for a while, you know that we absolutely love our Shox headphones and pretty much wear them all the time. Definitely, we're wearing them at this race. But you know who else was wearing them for this race? Lo. Hello, everybody. It's Lauda, aka Lo. I really love riding and racing. However, what I don't love is calling a pass and being ignored because of your traditional headphones. You know what? I get it. We need to drown out the pain by singing some backup vocals to Taylor Swift and Lady G. DJ song is on. DJ song is on. This is why I love my shocks. They allow me to serenade my fellow racers, drown out the pain in my legs, all while keeping me safe to hear my surroundings and obviously the compliments that are gonna be pouring in. Like your helmet. Thank you. If you are now thinking that you too need to try out Shox headphones, use the link in our description to head to shocks.com where they're having a holiday sale from now until December 24th. You can get 20% off the Open Run Pro and Open Run Pro Mini, which are the headphones that Sid and Lo and I all use. And if you use the link from our description, it includes a free gift. All right, time for me to go race. The Frog Hollow course is a 13 mile loop with just over a thousand feet of climbing per lap. The trails are fast and fun with a few technical rock sections and incredible views of the bluffs outside of Hurricane, Utah. Since we're competing as a team, we'll be alternating laps throughout the 25 hour race so everyone can get some rest and really push it on each of their laps. The only rule from the promoter is that every team member has to do at least one night lap, but given that almost half of the race is in the dark, that shouldn't be a problem. I can't run in slippers, don't fall off. Yeah, Mackie! Yeah, Mackie! So Mackie took off real fast. Really hoping he doesn't get heat stroke because I feel kind of bad because I think this was my idea. I'm gonna go warm up a little bit. Hopefully it takes him at least 45 minutes. But we have no idea. How's it look? So good. Do you want to pin my tail on real quick? <laughs> I can The sign's still up, the sign's still up. Good job, guys. Good How job. was it? Are you dying of heat? A little bit. That was an experience for sure. Hard, hot, fun. Um, the unicorn onesie is a little much for the current temperature. Those kids I was following, they uh, they were flying, man. It was very cool. They were riding real strong. So 
sir, you are looking I don't know what so I am. good right Some now. Some sort of cat? <laughs> so good. Sexy leopard man, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, back up. That looks good. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's I good. think it's gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> was that a that was, that, was a, that was like a 58 minute one i guess that was faster than you, you thought were really fast okay fast thank you love <laughs> thank you for the faith looking fabulous as always <laughs> secure <laughs> We're good. Yeah. Woo woo! Yeah. Go Adam! Yeah, go, 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 Adam! Welcome back. The low show, or so we're gonna dub it for right now, or the low lap. I'm your host, Lauda. Good job. It was good. Uh, I think it was the usual first lap thing where it feels really easy, but it's actually not really easy. Yeah. Probably should come down. How my wings look? It looks good. <laughs> They're a little floppy. Let me go, let me down, let me down. Mistake, mistake. First, I would like to apologize to our mutual fans out there because I did have glitter on my face, but somebody forgot to interview me after this lap and I peeled the glitter off. I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to edge me out. Seems like Lo had a really solid lap. Four person co-ed that I think is going to be our main competition came through not long before us. So I'm gonna have to try to catch up. I started out a little hot and I had <laughs> to talk myself off that hot ledge, but it was like tricky because I felt like everybody else was going really slow. He did not pass me until like the very last little bit. I have him by like 150 pounds. <laughs> oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I'll give you some right. whiskers too. Thanks. I sneak by you guys when you see a spot. Awesome, thanks guys. Mind if I sneak by you here? Thanks. Thank you. On your left. Thank you. Sneak by you when you see a spot. Thanks. Thank you. Go, go, go. Catch him? Yeah. Let's go, Sam! You got it! Ah! Ah! All 
right, have a good one. Yeah, good luck out there. Thanks. Ouch. Yeah, I, uh, I went pretty hard. I think I ran the same time I did on my first lap. It said 49, so I think that's the same. Pretty quick. Um, yeah, got him. Put a little time on him. Like I can't decide if I feel youthful or old as balls because our biggest competition right now are high schoolers and we're like neck and neck. Never mind, I'm gonna come by you on the right right here, thank you. Come on, on your right. Who will prevail, age and wisdom, or uh, youth and... So youth how... and approximately 150 pounds combined less than all of us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think I was able to go harder. I don't know, I started cramping, like light cramp twinges, mm -hmm. which is not a good sign on lap two, but like whatever, at <laughs> yeah. least I was going hard. Um, my dragon wings were good, they made me go fast. I could feel the wind resistance from the horns. Thank you, good luck. How you doing? Good, just get some stretching in. It's a good plan, that's Keep really what I should be doing. I'm a little paranoid from last lap. So <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> right there, right there. <laughs> yeah, Joe, woo woo! Not overjoyed to have been cramping on lap two. I just started lap two. The main concern is to keep a lid on it so that I don't do my usual thing and cramp stupendously. People want cramps to be cured by pickles and it can help. But for me, cramping is just like unexpected exertion. It takes a lot of mental energy to keep looking down and focused on hitting some numbers, but usually it pays off if I do it right. We just took like a month and a half off, technically. I mean, we rode a little bit, but like not high intensity like that. So I wouldn't say I'm surprised. I just may have to dial it back a little bit. I don't know, we'll see. Temperature's going up pretty good, but holding it together so far, going up these steep pitches, <sighs> chugging along. 56 seconds slower, so super consistent. Yeah, definitely like felt it more though. You too. How it go? It was good. It was good until you know a person you watch on YouTube. And you're like, oh, I could keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. Sure. Smoking lap. Nicely done. Felt uh, much smoother than the first one. Oh, this does not feel delicious. Ooh. Ouchie. Oh boy. Here comes that other little punchy climb. Calm down, calm down. Mackie's gonna go out again here shortly, which means I have to go again in 50 minutes. So I've been struck by dread. <laughs> Not really, but 
kind of cramped a little bit on that last one, so admit to being a bit concerned. I don't think it's gonna be terrible. I just may have to like slow it down a little bit. No me gusta. No más. Okay. Let's buckle up. Five thirty, five. Five thirty, which is six thirty frog time. Frog time? No, no, it's four thirty frog time. <laughs> frog time's backwards. That can't be right though, because you literally just said six thirty, but that's five thirty frog time. Yeah. I don't want your. <laughs> <about> this. <laughs> yeah, uh, up here. I'll go high. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Ah, it's you. I was like last year. Go, go, go. Long stretch. It hurts. After getting a bazillion comments and seeing Lo and Joe's lights at Enchanted Forest, we uh, knew we needed new lights, so we decided to go with the outbound lighting. I think this is the Evo and the helmet one is the Hangover. We've only tried them out once, but it went really well. Feeling optimistic. Does this look right, Joe? Oh uh, yeah. How are you feeling going into lap three? Not excited. First night lap? I love night laps, so maybe that'll breathe some life into me, but I don't want to eat, I don't want to drink. I have that residual fuzzy sugar in my mouth, and I don't know, I want like a steak. Well, we forgot jelly, <laughs> and my peanut butter sandwich needed a little depth, so Doritos. <laughs> Tell us about it. Man, I, had a, I didn't cramp, so that's, oh, good. that's good, but uh, I think I just took it a little bit easier, which I think was the right decision, because, yeah, you know, we're, uh, we're getting in there. It was gorgeous. I'd kind of forgotten about that, because I got back and I was like, everything hurts. And then I remembered it was so beautiful with like this whole range of mountains lit up. They were all pink. Oh man, it was beautiful. I kept having to be like, focus, Mackie, focus. <laughs> Ooh, I sat on the bag of potato chips. Yep, that's, that's not great. Come on, camera. Third lap down. Very dark. Riding with those lights was amazing. I was a little sad I didn't bring the camera on that lap because it was actually beautiful. I don't know how well it would have shot on the GoPro because GoPro doesn't do very well with that sort of twilight. And, like the sunset was amazing. I actually felt pretty good. The team of high schoolers that we're going back and forth with, um, the one kid caught me and probably passed me doing like a thousand watt sprint. <laughs> I was like, all right, rude. Probably old enough to be your mom. Maybe not quite. Mm, maybe. Also discovered that the thing that I want to eat is Lowe's chicken noodle soup. This is amazing. Unfortunately, we have like 12 hours of darkness left and um, not that much chicken soup. I just got back from my third lap, which I think went pretty smooth. Not as fast as my other two, but felt smoother. Kept the pace better. Descended better in the dark. It feels like you're going way faster, even though you're probably not. Uh, managed to get ahead of the team in front of us, which is a bonus. Um, but now we're entering the hard part of these 24-hour races, where you have to come back to the sad, lonely reality of camp. All right, guys. We are now swapping to our uh, A B A B C D C D, 
quarter. So Sid and I are alternating back and forth laps. And I'm actually gonna do an extra third one. So it'll be A, B, A, B, A. And then we'll go to sleep. Hopefully Joe and Lo will have had an opportunity to get some rest in that time. We'll swap and then they'll do C, D, C, D while we sleep. And then Sid will go out for the first one in the morning because we think that'll put us about oh, seven yeah. o'clock. Expecting Lo here back fairly shortly. I'm gonna go meet her over there and make sure I'm not late. Nice job, nice job. All right, here we go. Light on, light on. Ooh, we're gonna tilt that light up. Hello. Ooh, boy. Legs are feeling that. <clears throat> Just finished my third lap, and it was my first night lap, and who buddy, I forget how good I am at night lapping. Lap felt really, really awesome. I did not get past a couple of mistakes that I made. One, I run transmission, transmission access and requires batteries. And even my husband, Joe, was like, oh, did you change out your batteries? Cause I haven't since I got the bike. And sure enough, somebody's shifter battery died. I pulled the dropper battery off, put it in my shifter, but that means I was rigid post. Mind if I sneak by here? Thank you. So my goal with these three laps is to make sure I can do all three of them fairly quickly. Meaning they're not going to be as fast as my daytime ones when I had more rest in between. But if I can keep them in the like 55 range, so about 10% slower, I'd be pretty happy. Mistake number two, I did, forgot my water bottle. Couple observations so far. One, these lights are awesome. Two, it's fascinating how you notice the temperature changes more at night. Nice job, up, up, up. Three, I don't think my stomach is into racing at this time. Sneak by you here if I can, thank you. A little hot into that corner. Whoa, a little mice. Time for the midnight unicorn onesie lap. It's very cozy. I'm not mad about it. All right, light off. Light off. All good? All good. Okay. It's a little cold, so I'm glad I'm wearing a onesie. Lap four, definitely slowed down more than I was hoping to. About almost 20% slower. Oh, oh good move, Sid. Wow. You've got to pay attention to where we're going. Come on, Sid, come on, come on. It's so cool out here seeing the other lights on the other ridge. Wow. Also, it was a kangaroo rat graveyard out there. Felt very bad for the little guys. Oh, kangaroo rat. I'm gonna try to just like relax, reset, assume Sid will be in at an hour again because she's been holding ridiculously consistent laps. Hi 
there when you got a good spot. Perfect, thank you so much. You're looking for an excuse to sit in a tent and eat banana bread with a spoon at midnight in a unicorn onesie. Well, you should try 24 hour racing. <laughs> All right, here we go. That was pretty good. Fast, fast improvement on last 24 hour night riding experience. I had a lot of fun out there. Definitely starting to fatigue pretty solidly. Hoping I kind of just do another lap right in that range. In the hour, like four to seven. I'd be really, really happy with that. Definitely harder to go fast on this section at night. Because I was going for the no brake challenge on the first few laps. And was getting pretty close. <laughs> but this time you just can't see as far ahead, even with the lights. I have a little under an hour to eat something. Sort out the clothes. I'm, the onesie was fun, but it got really sweaty. I don't really think I want to do that again. You see a good spot. Awesome, thank you. starting to feel like all I've ever done for my entire life is ride around this course over and over and over. A little bit slower lap. Sid, on the other hand, has been running ridiculously consistent laps. This is the hard part with the dust. I'm just trying to get enough calories in so we have this random bag of uh, Munchies Cheese Fix. I have a recovery drink. I'm trying to just like shovel it in so that I can lie down. Woohoo! Holy crap, this is fun. Yay! Got all my wet clothes off for the first time in quite some time. 1 a.m. snack, which I finished at 2 a.m., but then the time changed, so it immediately zipped back to 1. So, my lap was actually only 6 minutes long, so that's kind of cool. I think we're getting close to the top of the main climb here. I'm doing a much better job about eating, and I'm feeling a lot better. Nice and controlled. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Thanks. Keep it up. Thanks. Thank you. Mackie's out with his last night lap. And he's gonna come in here. We're gonna try to sleep for a couple hours. Come on, Mackie. Almost there. U.S. Burritos 356. Welcome to a night lap. I'm really thinking of a different hobby. Not sure why I do this. Oh, yeah, here we go. Into the first of our ABAB rotation for Flo and I. People are looking at me like I'm nuts. Talking to myself. We're all nuts. We're out here racing for 25 hours. Not feeling terrible right now, but I know it's going to be a slower one. Just trying to keep it smooth and consistent for these couple laps and uh, make it through to the sunrise where everything will feel a lot better. <sighs> mistakes. Decision making mistakes. Funny enough. I think that shit was my idea. Woof. It's colder than I would like. Here. We are. Okay. 
tickle. Ouch. Party gear. Nothing party about this. So dark. I like it. I love night laps. You love night laps. Yeah. You totally love night laps. This is your jam. Ooh, buddy, I feel like cracked. DJ song is on. DJ song is on. I don't want to sing too loud. I don't want to get a record deal. Donk. Whoop. Squish. Chupacabra. Well, mice buddies. Whee. Oh, come on, Mo. Yeehaw. Dun, 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 dun. Little baby buckle. Whoop. Hot. Gotta unbury myself. We're tired. Slow. Danger. We're talking about Parmesan. That sounds delicious. Oh, what is this? Peanut butter? This hurts. Holy moly. Whee. Pedal, pedal. Come on, legs. Starting to get my power up. Ugh. Fresh. No danger. Oh my gosh. Power meter broken. Power meter. Great higher. This is where I had to swap my battery. Snazzy things are awesome. At the end of the day, you're the machine. So don't forget to put some money in yourself. Get a golf cart. Put a golf cart. Go to the governor. Got removed. So you can go faster. It's not gonna be a Honda Accord. I'm far from a Ferrari. Oops. Stop singing, pay attention. Not my cleanest run. Really tired. All right, here we go. Not the fastest transition on that lap because I forgot my tools. So Joe went and got them. Ooh, it's brisk. The sun is coming up. Dawn patrol time. Actually, I guess we're kind of, kind of missed dawn patrol. Good gig. I wish I had had time to brush my teeth. But other than that, feeling pretty good. And it's daylight, which is nice. Let's get some tunes going. Yep. Pretty out here. 7 a.m. I don't know if you can see how pretty this is. Wow. I love the desert. It's amazing out here. Some more on your left. How's it going? Nice job. And come by on your left. Nice job. Oh, it's cold in this arrival. Holy crap. First rays of sunshine are hitting me. A lot of dead kangaroo rats. Oh, that's a very flat kangaroo rat. Where is everybody? I'm all lonely out here today. One last push on the road. It's had a dumb crash. And sadly, it was not captured on camera. Clearly, we're a little tired. Forgot how to use my brain halfway through a corner. Twisted the front wheel around. Luckily, I think I am unscathed. Thank you. You did it. Okay, Mackie. You never have to do this again. Just always how I feel <clears throat> about the last lap of a lot of laps. And it would be good if I rode it fast this time, or at least faster than some of my night laps. I'm cracked. I think I'm done. No more laps for Sid. Back in my unicorn onesie, got a pancake and some bacon. <clears throat> Definitely feel a lot better than the last time we did one of these. When I was nauseous and couldn't even think about food for like three days. 
sneak between you guys if I can. Go for it. Thank you. Keep it up. Nice job. Up, up, up. Good job. Keep going. I'm done. I did two night laps. Sid actually played this fun game called hide the camera in their tent so I couldn't record in real life. Sorry. I was really impressed with my first night lap after our switch for the ADADA situation. Yeah, I was, college. yeah, I was only one minute, just barely, maybe not even quite a minute slower than my previous night lap. And then I, for my second night lap after just an hour rest, I was pretty cracked. Yeah, I'm about to get dressed and go wait for Maggie. My brain's not working <coughs> for the math part, so I think I just have to just go go out and finish it. We'll figure it out. Then, I think you're good. Yeah. If you see a good spot. Awesome. Thank you. Good job. You too. get a better sense for how far behind they are when Mackie comes in and they come in. I haven't been this relieved to not be riding my bike since the Continental Divide ride. So three weeks. So three weeks. <laughs> but I'm very relieved not to be riding really my bike anymore. Stupid on bikes every three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. We're good. We're golden. Our big push through the night paid off, and we ended up taking the win in the co-ed team category. Perhaps more importantly, however, we won the team costume contest. Guys, we got team with the best costume, so we got a pie. Overall, this race was a fantastic way to close out 2023, and a great reminder of all the things that make mountain biking really special. Great friends, great trails, and a lot of laughs along the way. Cause you a bad man, you should don't love money. You should break cars real fast like a man. When it's been done.